Hi everyone, today we're going to work on a fun technique. I'm going to show you how to make a beautiful sunflower using the McGill um, paper blossom punches. So let's move this over to the side. I'll show you what tools you need to put together the sunflower and then I'll run you through the process so that you can make them yourself. So to get started, you're going to need um, this instruction sheet and this is um, you can find this on the McGill blog, and it's the Paper Blossoms, How to Make a Sunflower um, Instruction Sheet. It gives you all of the details on what you need. It's really, really self-explanatory, and it's awesome that it's just a one-pager. So very easy to store. You're also going to need a couple of punches, and what's really nice about these punches is that they're um, multifunctional, so you can use them for all kinds of different um, designs. So the first one that you're going to need for this project is going to be the Star Lily Punch. So here goes the Star Lily Punch and you're going to punch out um, 12 sets of the Star Lily in any yellow um, cardstock. I'm going to be using some Stampin' Up! paper for this particular project, but you can use some basil paper, some DCWV, or just some nice quality um, cardstock would work really well. The next punch you're going to need is the Large Highland Snowflake. Gorgeous, gorgeous um, punch to use to use as the base of your flower, but also perfect for the holidays, winter themed projects, just really nice punch. So this one you're just going to need one, and that one I cut out in a pine color because this is going to be the base of my flower. The next item you're going to need is the Sun Punch. And this one, again, is going to be for the center of your flower. So you're going to punch three of these in um, black and in brown. So I went ahead and I punched two in black and one in brown. And we're going to alternate them on our project. And the last punch you're going to need is the birch punch. And this one is this gorgeous leaf that you're just going to use to put as the background of your flower. And we'll go, we I went ahead and punched four of those in green. You'll also need this, um, the craft molding mat, which is another um, McGill Paper Blossoms product. Really, really fun to use and actually really good for stamping too. So it's one of those um, tools that you can use for a lot of things. And then you'll need the McGill Toolkit, which comes with a number of tools inside. And these are the tools that you'll be using to shape your flowers. So let's put this over to the side. And then just to add some decorative accent to your flower, you're going to need some um, one of these blending tools and the Tim Holtz Vintage Photo. So let's put this all to the side now and let me go ahead and get started and show you how to put this gorgeous, gorgeous flower together.
So there you go, a really gorgeous sunflower made with just some really fun McGill Paper Blossom um, punches. I hope you guys enjoyed this um, fun technique on how to make paper flowers, and I can't wait to share new ideas with you really soon. Thanks for watching.